ridiculous, Tom. You're a monster. I can't believe what you've done. I hate you. We packed up some of your things. Now get lost. Dad, please do not kick me out. I would never steal mom's necklace or your money. I've had enough of your lies. Yeah, get lost, Tom, before you hurt us anymore. Devin, please, you know I didn't do this. You're my older brother. D talk to dad. Make him reconsider. What's done is done. And don't call me your brother anymore. A hundred thousand dollars was taken out of my dad's safe. And my mother's diamond necklace is now gone too. Somebody stole it. But my dad and brother think it was me. Tate, are you kidding? It would never be you. You were like the closest to your mom. Yeah. I know. My mom was my most favorite person in the world. We were so close and we were so alike. But after my mom got into her accident and didn't make it, my dad and brother, they just seemed to turn on me. They hate me so much. And now they kicked me out and I've got nowhere to go. All right, dude, just calm down, Tom. Come inside, all right? You can stay with me for now until we figure all this mess out. Oh, thanks, James. You're my best friend. Yeah, yeah. You just got here. Why? Uh-huh. Okay. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Yeah, do you know who that was I was talking to right there, boys? Nah, who was it, Dodd? It was your father, Tom. He told me everything. Look, it's all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, there's no misunderstanding going on here. You're a criminal, you know that? Stealing other people's belongings. Hey, Dodd, you got it all mixed up, all right? Tom didn't do anything wrong. Listen, I was about to ask if he could stay here. I'm absolutely not. I'm not getting any of my items stolen. What are you gonna go steal next? My vintage wallet? You are not welcome anywhere near here. Mom, I wish you were here with me. You always helped guide me, gave me the best advice. I wonder what you'd tell me right now. Probably to forgive Dad and Devin. But how can I when they hate me so much? <sighs> I've got nowhere else to go, so I might as well stay here with you, Mom. Tom! Oh, I'm so happy I found you. James, what are you doing here? Me and my dad got in a fight, all right? His opinion of you doesn't matter to me, and he's acting cruel. I'm not just about to abandon my best friend when you need me the most. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. I'm thankful I've got you, at least. For a while there, I was starting to feel like I had no one. Well, come on, dude. Let's get out of this, all right? We gotta find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, well, I don't have a whole lot of money. I was just gonna sleep here. Oh, no, no. You're crazy. I'm not gonna let you sleep here. Listen, I may have grabbed the keys to my family's cabin in the woods, okay? We could stay there for the meantime. I just can't believe it. $100,000. My whole savings, gone! Yeah, well, we gave Tom exactly what he deserved. He's so selfish for stealing all that money and just lying to our faces about it. How can your own family member do that? I don't know. It's beyond surprising to me. I just can't believe his behavior lately. What has gotten into your little brother? I don't know, but it's like he's a whole different person now. Seems like ever since we lost your mom, Tom's been acting out. You know, this is all my fault. Dad, what are you talking about? It's not your fault at all. This is all Tom, no one else. And don't ever think that. Maybe if I had just been a better father, been around more or something, I, I, I don't know. I can't help but think this is my fault. Dad, don't worry, okay? Tom was holding us back anyway. Everything's gonna be fine, and we're gonna be great without him. We're not gonna be great, Devin. This was my entire savings gone. Without this, I don't think we can keep the house. We could be homeless. Wait, what? What do you mean homeless? I had no idea about any of that. Well, don't worry. It's my job to take care of this. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out somehow. I'll get the money back. Maybe pick up extra shifts at work. I don't know. Don't worry. Well, I'm going to help too, Dad. You don't know what I'm capable of. I'm smarter than I look. Thanks, Devin. Thankful I at least have one son that has his head on straight. Yeah, dude. How'd you sleep? Not good. I just kept thinking about my dad and Devin and what happened, you know? What I could have said different. Maybe I could have changed their minds or, or something. Dude, there was nothing that you could have done. Their minds were already made before they even confronted you. I just wish I knew what happened to my mom's necklace. There's obviously no way I would have taken it. Yeah, it's not like it didn't grow legs and just walk away. Someone had to have taken it. And if not you, then who? But then my dad's whole savings was missing too. There's something more to this. My dad could be in serious trouble. Well, Tom, if you really need it, I can loan you some money, all right? I have a lot of extra. No. Absolutely not. I'm going to get that money back one way or another, either for working for it or I'm going to find it. And I'm going to give it back to my dad. Wait, seriously? Even after everything they've done? They literally kicked you out of your own family. For now, but they're still my family and I would never turn my back on them, even if they hate me. Well, you're a better person than me, that's for sure. Thanks for helping me out with all of this and giving me a place to stay. But I need to get to work. Last thing I need is to lose my job too.
Hey, boss. Well, this isn't my good-for-nothing employee. Late. Yet again. I'm really sorry. You are by far my worst employee that I've ever had in my existence as a manager. Look, I can explain, all right? I got kicked out of my house and just shut up, okay? I don't care about your sob story. Go stock the shelves is what I pay you to do. I'm on it. That man is so miserable. He doesn't care about anyone else but himself. I've gotta stock these shelves yet again. Ugh, thought I was at a grocery store, not a dump. Look, Devin, can you and I just talk, please? All this is just tearing me apart. I'm not gonna talk to you, not now, not ever. From what I see, all you are now is just a stranger to me. But we're brothers. No, we're not brothers anymore, and I don't even care about you. So just zip it, okay? What is going on over here? Tom, are you disturbing our customers? Yeah, I have a problem. You just let this guy work at your store. You know he's a criminal, right? What? He's a criminal? Tom, explain yourself. No, I'm not a criminal. This is my brother. He's blaming me for something that I didn't do. Yeah, well, his own family's about to be on the streets now for the money that he stole. Oh, wow. You're even worse than I expected, Tom. Yeah, and we already made our minds at home. Once I talk to my dad again, I'm pretty sure we're going to disown him. You should do the same as an employee. I am so sick of people thinking that I'm something I'm not. I'm not a criminal, James. Child, oh, dude, I know. But we have to prove that to the other people in your life. Trust me, I'm going to prove my innocence one way or another. My dad is going to leave for work, and I'm going to go inside the house. I'm going to find some clues or, or something. Yeah, good idea, man. I'll be the lookout. Look, there he goes now. Yeah, gotta work overtime so I can pay the mortgage. Otherwise, they're taking the house. All right, he's gone. I'll be right back. Oh, there's gotta be something somewhere. No, 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 there's nothing. Oh, I've gotta find something. Maybe there's... Oh, I've gotta find something. Right, I can't believe I forgot my laptop. What? Tom? What are you doing here? I told you to get out. Dad, I, I, I was just, um... You were just what? Breaking into our house? Wow, really are a criminal now, aren't you, Tom? No, Dad, I'm not a criminal. And why won't you just listen to me? No, because I don't listen to lies. I want you out of this house. I am so hurt by you, I, I can't even look at you. Dad, you're the one that's hurting me too. You are my son and I love you, but the way you're acting is hurting me more than anything. I'm gonna call the police. What? Dad, you can't call the police. Oh yes, I can. Someone breaks into my house, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Now you better go or else the cops are being called. James, I thought you said you were gonna be my lookout. Dude, I, I was, but then I saw your dad book it towards the door. What am I supposed to do, just trip him? I heard you guys yelling though, is everything okay? No, honestly, I think my dad probably hates me even more now. Well, don't worry, all right? Because when he finds out the truth, I'm sure everything's gonna go back to normal. Hey, Tom, 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 get over here. Ah, uh, great. Hey, old man Jones. Look, I've got a lot going on right now. I can't, like, rake your yard or take out your trash anymore. All right, well, zip it, youngins. I had something very important to tell you, okay? Now, listen here. You just got kicked out of your house for being a thief, didn't you? Ah, uh, you heard it, too. Great. Look, I'm not a criminal, all right? Yeah, I know that, and I have the proof. You, you what? Yeah, I may have gotten new security cameras installed the other week, and uh, I saw something that you might want to see. Come on inside. James, this might be it. Now, looky here. Now, if you look closely, I can definitely tell that there's someone else in that house that is not you. And look at that. They're leaving right now. Tom, this is exactly what you need. Yeah, clearly that is not me. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to show this to my dad. And then maybe now he'll finally understand. All right, come on. Where is he? He should be here by now. Yay, what's up, dude? Here you go. Here's the money for selling the necklace. Perfect. This is everything I needed, and no one suspected a thing, by the way, in my entire family. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty impressed. Honestly, though, you're a little cold-blooded, man. Framing your own little brother for stealing your mom's necklace? Yeah, tell me something I care about, okay? Tom deserved everything that he got, and I'm excited to never see his face again. Why do you hate him so much, man? You have no idea what it's like to always feel like a failure. My dumb little brother always got the attention, the glory. He got everything he ever wanted. Meanwhile, I was just in his shadow, watching from a distance. Whoa, okay. 
Sorry I asked. Now I'll finally have the relationship with my dad that I've always wanted. I'm gonna be a hero to him. He'll be so proud of me, and that's exactly what I want. Yeah, well, dude, whatever happens, just don't tell them I helped you, okay? This was all your idea, not mine. Dude, don't worry, okay? Everyone thinks it's Tom, not you. And I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, I think dad's home. Why do I feel so nervous? Whatever, just shake it off, Tom. It's just dad. Hello? I, ugh. What do you want, Tom? I don't want to see you. Look, I know, okay, but there's something really important I need to tell you, Dad. All right, what is it? Well, I've got to show you. Can I borrow your laptop? What? My laptop? Yeah, just real quick. Look at this. See, Dad? This is the footage from Old Man Jones' security cameras. In the house, there's somebody there. And that's not me. Well, well, clearly not you. But who is that? Dad, Dad, look. I got all the money just like you needed, and now we can get the house. We're set. Wait, what is he doing here? That can wait. What about the money? What is this? Look, I, I worked so hard day and night just to fix up Tom's mess up. I did it, Dad. This actually could save us. But Dad, that man in the security footage looks photoshopped and edited to me. Are you really trying to lie to us again? Wait, you can do that stuff? Yeah, Dad, anyone can. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Tom did with the help of his friend James. It's so sad and pathetic that you're trying to gain our love back. I can't believe you would lie so much, Tom, and to go this far to fake security footage just to cover your own bad deeds. Dad, I would never do that. What do you think your mother would say? What did you just say? You heard me. Your mother is probably looking down on you being so disappointed. Are you kidding me? Mom will be disappointed in the two of you from the way you're treating me right now. He is impossible. I'm putting the money in the safe. That way he doesn't steal it again. Uh, now that that's over, <laughs> so much for Tom's evidence. Ugh, why are they acting like this? Why did dad even say that? Ugh, it makes me so mad. You know what, Tom? You should just give up. Just leave and never come back, okay? Dad's never gonna forgive you for this. I know he will once I prove my innocence. Once I show you two that I didn't do it. Yeah, well, the only evidence you have right here is now gone. Why would you do that? You better stop digging your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Because you're gonna regret it. Really? Devin, is that a threat? Do you know something? Are you hiding something from me? No, no, why would I hide something from you? That's what you do to everyone else, you thief. Now back off. Don't call me a thief. I can call you whatever I want. I ah! <laughs> Yo, dude, what are we doing here? Are we gonna get caught? Isn't your brother coming back? No, no, don't even worry about it, okay? Called the ambulance and my brother's in the hospital right now. He's not gonna be here for a long time, okay? Well, he's in the hospital? Why? Things happen, okay? Now just shut up. Start looking for anything valuable. We need to find anything that we can. All right, I'm on it. Uh, look at that. What did you find? Look at this. It's like some kind of old watch. Probably super expensive. Perfect. That should be good. Here. Take this. I want this entire place to be teared up, okay? Destroy it if you have to. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, time for me to make this even worse. Oh my gosh, James, I have something to tell you. You're not gonna like the sound of it. Oh, oh where, where am I? You're in the hospital, Tom. Dad? What were you thinking? Running into the street like a maniac? I didn't run into the street. Devin pushed me in. Oh, great. Blaming your brother for this? You're a real piece of work, Tom. Your brother's the one that called the ambulance. Dad, stop blaming me for this. I didn't... Oh, uh, I didn't do this on purpose. You need to stop blaming everyone else for your mistakes and your bad choices. I raised you better than that. Oh, good. I'm happy to see that you're awake, Tom. Uh, thanks, doctor. Is he gonna be okay, doc? Or is he gonna go home or what? Yeah, yeah, he should be fine. You should be able to take him back to you guys' house. Oh, he's not coming home with me. All right, I don't really care about the personal info. Look, I just need to ask for the payment, all right? Are you paying for it or what? How much is the bill? Um, well, before I thought it was one strain ankle, so it's, uh, 60000 but that ended up coming to $80,000 just for the additional fees. $80,000? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not paying his bills. He can figure it out on his own. D Dad, why don't you pay for it with the money you stole? You took $100,000 from my safe. Oh, this is some family drama right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a thief and a liar. You're on your own now. Dad, Dad, no. All right, listen, man, are you going to pay the bill or what? Well, I definitely don't have that much money. Is there any way I can, like, pay in 
small amounts or, or something. Ah! Now you're lying to me too, huh? Get out of my hospital! Break a leg! Oops, you already did! James, you won't believe what happened. Wait, are you okay? You look upset. Tja, why don't you just come inside, Tom? See it for yourself. What on earth happened here? Oh, wow. You've really improved your acting skills since school. I let you stay here, you know. And this is how you treat my personal stuff? How dare you? What? No, no, James, I didn't do this. I was in the hospital. Yeah, a likely story. Just another lie. I talked to your brother, and it's exactly what he said you'd say. You're nothing but a liar. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. I'm your best friend, James. Then just give it back, all right? Give me my grandfather's watch back. What? Grandfather's watch? Yeah, that was the most personal thing to me, all right? He gave that to me himself before he passed. So I need it back. I didn't take your grandfather's watch. I don't have it. Yeah, you don't have it anymore because you probably sold it just like you did with your mom's neck. Necklace. I'm starting to see the real enemy here, Tom. I can't believe you manipulated me for as long as you did. All right, you know what, James? Enough is enough, okay? I would never manipulate you. You need to cut this out. You know me. I would never do something like this. I'm honest. We are best friends. Yeah, well, just like your family, I'm kicking you out of my life, too. I don't want to be friends with anyone anymore, especially a criminal. Well, I really am alone now. I've lost everything. My family, my friends. Now I just have to live on the streets. Oh, this is so stupid. What am I going to do now? Hey, 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 watch it, all right? This is my dumpster we're talking about. Back off. Oh, whoa, I didn't even know you were in there. I, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, what's up, kid? I can tell something's wrong. I mean, no one just punches a dumpster for no reason. Is your hand okay? Uh, it's a little hurt, but it'll be okay. I'm just going through a lot, you know? I'm homeless now, and my family and my friends turn their backs on me. I'm just frustrated. Wow. Yeah. Tell me about it. I, uh, I totally get it. And, and I relate, all right? I mean, I've been on the streets for a couple of years now. And, you know, it doesn't get any easier. Oh, great. Looks like my future is going to be pretty much the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. That's not the attitude that you need to have. Listen, you can't give up, kid. And if anything, I can help you out, all right? Definitely don't deserve to go through this on your own. Oh, thanks. I really could use some help about now. All right, uh, just, just follow me, okay? And keep up. No, I know it's not much. It's not the best, but um, this is home. Well, it'll be some kind of roof over my head. It's better than sleeping on a bench or in a dumpster. Hey, hey, hey. Don't knock a dumpster until you try it, all right? You can crash it as long as you want, all right, now. Are you hungry? Starving, but... That's yours. I, I can't take it. No, all right. Listen, we're all in this together, all right? We're not going to get through this if we're selfish. And I'm not just going to let you suffer. I don't have much, but hey, it's the least that I can do. Oh, thank you so much. Why are you being so nice to me, though? I don't even know you. Because after years and years going through this and everything that I've lost, I've come to realize doing the right thing is the most important thing in this world. Hey, Dad, I know you've been really busy lately, but it's the weekend. You want to go to the movies or something? We could do something fun. I don't really have time for that right now, Devin. What? What do you mean? But I'm your son. We're supposed to be a family. Yeah, of course we're still family, Devin. I just don't have the time or the energy to do anything, you know? I'm worried about your brother. What? Why are you still worried about him after everything that he's done to us? Just forget about him. Maybe you'll understand when you have kids of your own, but you can't forget about them, okay? It's your job to protect them, and, and I think I'm failing. Look at where all that protecting got you, Dad. Your son is selfish and he betrayed both of us. And it was me who got us out of the mud, remember? Look at how you're treating me compared to him right now. Devin, need to stop thinking about you, okay? Yes, I know you helped us out and you did a great job and I'm forever grateful for that. But I've been doing a lot of thinking. What if your brother is right? Maybe your mother would be upset the way we kicked him out. You seriously just said that? You seriously think that he's right? You gotta be kidding me. Well, I was thinking about that security footage that definitely wasn't him, so it had to be someone else. Yeah, he has, he has connections everywhere, Dad. I mean, it, it's Tom. You know how many friends he has? Just forget about him. You have me. You know what, Devin? I'm kind of disappointed in you. You don't seem to care about your little brother at all. I raised you better than that. I'm going to go call the police. Maybe they can help us figure all this out. Dad, wait. No. Dad just lit. Oh, my gosh. Even after everything I've done, Dad still cares about Tom more than me. Ugh. I'm so sick and tired of him. I'm gonna get rid of him for good this time. All right, well, at least I still have this job. I could get my mind off of things for a little bit and make some money. I could definitely use it. Maybe I'll rent an apartment or something. Tom, get over here right now. Ah, uh, here we go. 
Tom, we gotta have a conversation. Oh, oh man, you smell like trash. What is wrong with you? Look, uh, I'm going through some stuff right now, okay? And I don't have anywhere to stay. Uh, whatever. Look, I don't really care. This store was robbed last night. What? It was robbed? $10,000 is missing from my office. Uh, who, who was it? It was you. Are you kidding? There definitely wasn't me. Then what is this? Read it. It looks like a note. You left a note on my desk. Read it out loud. This job sucks. I hate it here. This is what you deserve? Signed, Tom? I did not write this. Huh, you think of me as some kind of joke, huh? Don't you? No, no, sir, I don't. I am outraged. I already called the police on you, and you're fired. What? No, please, sir. This was not me. You're the only one with keys to this place. And you came in late at night, stole that money, and left that insulting note for me to see in the morning. You know how much I hate the morning. Sir, I didn't come to the store last night. I, I was busy sleeping in a homeless camp. Ah, well, go back to it. Get out of here now. <laughs> Perfect. So once again, someone stole money and blamed me for it. Now I don't have a job, and I've got no way of making money. Well, I'm sorry. It's, it seems like bad luck is just following you around, huh? Yeah, seems like it, and it won't go away. When is my bad luck going to be over? Uh, listen, I may have another way we can make money, all right? Just uh, follow me. The junkyard? What are we doing here? Hey, this is how I make my living, all right? Sometimes I can find trash that people just, you know, leave behind and fix it up and sell it to a nearby pawn shop. Wow. You know, I'm actually kind of impressed. It's a really creative way to make money. And you and you can fix stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn it after a while when you got nothing, all right? Just uh, look around. Maybe we could find something valuable. Yeah, I'll go digging. I can see there's nothing really here. Wait, this TV. Looks like I can fix this. Yeah, yeah, this might actually work. You know, this TV is actually looking pretty good. Um, I'll take it off your hands. Well, really? Uh, how much am I going to get for it? Yeah, yeah, here's 40 bucks, all right? 40 bucks? Hey, hey, even if it seems hopeless, there's a way that we could turn it around, okay? Don't worry. Just take it. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right, I'll take it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, come back anytime for more items. Yeah, looks like you've got a lot of stuff here, and... Wait a second. Oh my god! What? What? Is there a rat? I swear we're clean here. No, that's my mom's necklace. Where did you get that? Um, I don't know. I have a friend that comes in sometimes and he gives you some high ticket items. You know, it's like a once every other week or so. Look, sir, that is my mom's necklace and, and I lost her a couple years ago. Someone stole it from my house and blamed me for it. Is there any way I could get that back? It's... That's all I have left of her. 50K. What? You heard me? I offered you 50K. If you don't have it, then leave, all right? Simple as that. Please, sir, have a heart. That's my mom's necklace and it was stolen. Oh, uh, the old mom necklace was stolen, Trick. You'd be surprised how much I've heard that. I don't believe a word you say. What if I can prove it? What if I can prove that that necklace was stolen? I'll tell you what, kid. If you can give me evidence and proof, then I have a heart after all. I'll give it back. Perfect. Then I think it's time I meet your friend. All right, he said this guy would be showing up any minute now. There he is. It's the same guy from the security footage. I knew it. Yo, yeah, so here you go. It's an old watch, probably super expensive. Hey, where'd you get the watch, huh? Oh, uh, wh what's it to you, huh? I need to know. That looks a whole lot like my friend's watch. And also, where did you get the necklace, huh? That diamond necklace right there. I, uh... Uh, I gotta go. You're not going anywhere. Whoa, whoa, guys. All right, let's calm down a little bit. I'll call the police if I have to. No, 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 no. You don't have to call the police, okay? Come on, Jimmy. Come on, we're friends, aren't we? My name's not even Jimmy. Be honest with me right now. Are these items stolen? Uh, what's your definition of stolen? All right, that's it. I know they are. I'm calling the police. I can't be selling stolen items in my honest good pawn shop, all right? Look, I, look, I, I, I can explain, all right? None of this was uh, my idea. I'm just the middleman. Really? Then who is it? Who's behind this? Who's your boss? Uh, eh. it's your brother. What? It's Devin. He's behind everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an outrage. I'm so disappointed in you, and I'm never going to work with you again. You're dead to me, Tristan. Now hand over the watch. All right, fine, here. And here you go, Tom. Take the necklace and the watch. I hope this is going to make things right for you. Man, I hope he answers. What do you want? 
I have something for you. I don't want anything from you, all right? You hear me? Just leave. I think you'll want this back. Wait, my grandfather's watch? So you did take it, didn't you? No, I didn't. My brother stole it. What? Your brother? Why would he do that? I'm not quite sure just yet, but this belongs to you. I know he's behind a lot of the other things that's been happening to me too. And he was the one that stole my mom's necklace. I'm sorry, Tom. It's my fault that I didn't mean to accuse you. I was just mad. Please, you don't need to apologize. I understand. So what are you going to do now? I mean, your brother probably has more things planned up his sleeve. I'm not quite sure, but his friend Tristan helped him and now he's under arrest. I think my brother might have to suffer the same fate. Oh, come on, dude. Pick up the phone. Hello? Devin. Dude, it's me, Tristan. I'm under arrest. Are you serious? You got caught? You had one job, man. I know. I I'm sorry, but your little brother was at the pawn shop. He ambushed me. Then they called the cops on me, dude. My brother what? He knows then? He knows everything? Yeah. He also has the necklace. You idiot. Listen here. You better not tell a soul that I was involved or I'm going to ruin your entire life. Do you understand me? I promise I won't say anything. Can you just just come bail me out. I want to go home. Because of all this, it seems like the best thing here is for you to learn the hard way. What? Dude, I did this all for you. It's the least you could do. I've got so much going on. I can't go to jail. You did what? Ruin all my plans? Because that's exactly what you did. Bye, Tristan. Wait, no, Devin. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. What if I get arrested too? Oh, no. I have to think of something. Thanks for coming with me, Officer Rufus. I don't know if anyone's going to believe me when I show them the necklace. Is that why you're not going inside, y'all? Yeah, I I'm worried. If my dad doesn't believe me, if he doesn't forgive me, what's he going to do? What am I going to do? You don't know until you try, y'all. You gotta put faith in your family that they gonna know the truth, y'all, and I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, thanks for everything. All right, I can do this. It's just talking to my dad, right? Ugh, what do you want? Oh, Officer Rufus. Well, I'm glad you found my thief of a son. Why isn't he in jail? Because I'm here to give you this, Dad. That's your mother's necklace. What, what are you doing with this? Finally felt guilty enough that you return it? No, Dad. I found it at a pawn shop. Devin stole it, and he sold it for money. No, he would never do that. Excellently? Yes, that's exactly what we did. We have his friends, Tristams, the Kramanims, and Yale, y'all. And I came here to tell you that your son is telling you the truth. Oh my gosh, Tom, I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. You told me the whole time you were to sit, and I, I didn't believe you. It's okay, Dad, but now you know the truth. Devin was the one behind all of this. What's going on here? Oh, oh my gosh, Tom, you found the necklace. Dad, can you believe it? Cut the act, Devin. We all know it was you who took the necklace in the first place. You lied to me and your brother, your entire family. What? You're blaming me? No, that... Uh, Devin, uh, where are you going? Uh, Come back here. Um, should I go after this, ma'ams? Yes, please, go after him. All right, Officer for Rufus on the case, y'all. Yes. Here you go, Tom. It's your favorite. Double bacon cheeseburger on the house. <sighs> yeah, thanks for letting me come back home. But I'll be honest really thought you hated me for a while. It really hurt. Look, let me explain. I saw you and your brother arguing all the time after your mom passed, and I thought you were acting out, that you didn't know how to handle your emotions. I blame myself. I should have been a better father. Dad, you're a great father. That necklace was just the last piece of your mother that we have. When it was missing, I, I just lost control of my mind, you know? Got blinded by my emotions. I never hated you. You are my son. Can you forgive me for all this? Of course I can, Dad. It was really, really difficult losing Mom. But we're all the family we have now. I want to bring our family back together. Well, I'm not sure your brother's going to listen to me. And Officer Rufus hasn't been able to find him yet. It's been a few hours. I'm starting to get worried. Well, there's one person I think we should talk to. And she'll know exactly what to do. Well, I haven't been back here since, since it all happened. I find myself coming here a lot. And just talking to her kind of feels good. You should give it a try. Uh, hey, Maggie. I miss you so much, sweetheart. I wish you were still here. She was the smartest person in the whole world. She'd know exactly what to do, how to get through to Devin. You know, it actually kind of feels good to be here right now. But there's something else I think we should do. Let's give your mother back her necklace. It belongs with her. You know, I got this for her for our anniversary one year. It made her so happy. And she'll be happy to have it back. What are we going to do, Tom? Your brother is just so lost. I don't think he's going to listen to us. Well, what do you think mom would do? Your mother was smart, but she was stubborn. She'd never give up. She'd be out there looking for him right now trying to bring him home maybe i can get through to him he's my brother you definitely are a lot like your mother that's for sure well i'll go out looking don't worry dad everything's gonna work out tristan hey hey tristan i need to talk to you tristan stop 
I want nothing to do with you. You're the one that turned me into the police. Look, I need your help, okay? Devin is missing. Yeah, who cares about that, huh? I do. He's my brother, and you are his best friend. You have to know where he is or where he went. Even if I did know, there's no way I was going to help you anyways. Tristan, please. You know my brother. He, he could be in trouble. Yeah, and I was in trouble too, and your brother turned his back on me. It's what he deserves. You get lost. Oh, gosh, well, if he's not going to help me, who will? Wait a second. So, what do you think? You think you'd be able to find him? Yeah, I have eyes and ears on the street everywhere. I could help no problem. Thank you so much. If you see him, make sure he's okay and let me know. Oh, man. I need to find somewhere to stay, anywhere to stay. This rain is so heavy. Ah. Uh, I guess this dumpster is going to have to do. Is this really what my life has come down to now? I can't show my face to my family. They will never approve of me now. This, this just sucks. No one accepts me ever. I just wanted one thing. And look at what happened. It just backfired right in my face. Hey, you're uh, you're Devin, right? You're Tom's brother. What's it to you, huh? Back off, man. I don't want any trouble. No, no, calm down, okay? Look, your brother's looking for you everywhere, and I'm sure he's worried sick. Yeah, I doubt that. Why would he be worried sick about me after everything I've done? You really don't even know, do you? Even after everything you've done to him, your brother still cares about you because you're his family. Well, that's just a bunch of lies, okay? This is all Tom's fault. Everything is Tom's fault. I wouldn't have gone and did what I did if Tom didn't steal all the attention that I wanted from my family for himself. Hey, listen, kid. I know you're going through a lot and everything, but taking it out on your own brother isn't the answer, especially after everything Tom is doing for you looking after you last thing i need right now is a lesson okay so just zip it no i'm not gonna zip it okay your brother's worried sick and he wants to help you why can't you see that because i don't want to see that okay i don't want to accept it so just back off and leave me alone you need to go home or i'm gonna call the police and tell them to take you them themselves get away from me you can't tell me what to do i can't believe he beat you up like that he just ran off what is he thinking i don't know but uh he hit me pretty hard Look, I am so sorry. I just wonder what made my brother go off the deep end. Between me and you, I think your brother's been there for quite a while, man. Seems like he hasn't been happy for the longest time. What makes you think that? I mean, if I'm being honest with you, loss can make people do things they don't normally do. It's one of the hardest things that people have to come to terms with in life. Yeah, maybe you're right. I feel like Devin's been in a lot of pain. Maybe he's just taking his anger out on me. That's exactly what I think it is. The only people that can get to him now, though, is his own family, and that includes you. Yeah, and thank you so much for helping me again just glad to know that he's okay and thank you for everything else you've done for me you've really become a true friend yeah yeah don't mention it well there is one thing i need to do i have to give you this wait 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 hold on no i, I can't accept that kid all right i shouldn't be rewarded for being a good person just that should just come naturally yeah no no of course but just think of it as a token of gratitude and how thankful i am to have met you you can use this to build your life back up the way you want to no one's ever given me anything ever in life um thank you so much your friend said he saw him around here yeah maybe he's still around look it's devin he's right there what is he doing devin devin please stop get away from me oh my gosh devin knock it off with the dramatics okay just come home no dad whenever it comes to me you always just blow it off always well guess what my emotions matter too of course they matter devin they matter to me and dad the most why are you taking this all out on me because tom it's always been your fault ever since the day you were born everything has shifted from me to you you and mom were the closest but now she's gone and ever since then you've been taking dad away from me slowly but surely Devin, come on your mother and i love the two of you equally you can say that all you want but it's just going in one year out the other for me dad Exactly. Devin, you're not listening to us. You're upset and you're frustrated and you're mad. You just need to calm down and come home. We can talk about this. I'm not going to come home. I'm never coming home. I'm going to go be around people that actually want to be around me. Devin, we want you around. Just stop it. No, I'm not going to jail. You're going to call the cops and have me arrested for what I did. No, we're not. Just calm down. Look, Devin, I'm sorry you're going through all of this, but your brother and I are here for you. Don't turn your backs on us now. Too late. I already am. Devin, please. Devin, where did he go? Ugh, where did I go wrong? No, you didn't go wrong, Dad. I think I know exactly where Devin's going. <laughs> I know. I miss her a lot, too. I don't know what to do with myself. Pretty sure she's ashamed of everything I did, framing you and everything. You know that's not true. She'd forgive you, just like Dad and I will. You would seriously forgive me after everything I've done? Well, what you did was pretty dumb. You should have just talked to us. You're right, Tom. I'm sorry, okay? I just, I didn't know. You don't have to say anything else. We're brothers. I love you and I forgive you. 